Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. There's a new feature in Photoshop that will allow you to copy the color, look, and feel of one image to another image. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use it. This new Photoshop feature is a neural filter called Color Transfer. I'm going to demonstrate a couple different ways you could use it. I have this image here. It was taken in Toronto. It was a RAW file, but I exported it from Lightroom using the Adobe Color Profile. Next to it in Photoshop, I have the same exact image, but this time I exported it from Lightroom using Fujifilm's Classic Chrome Film Simulation Mode. Now, Fujifilm's Film Simulation Modes are just camera profiles. That's all they really are. And I know many people like the Classic Chrome Film Simulation Mode, and they use it quite a bit on their Fujifilm files. And I've received emails from people asking me if they could get that same Film Simulation Classic Chrome look on non-Fujifilm files like this Nikon file, this Nikon file, and so on. So I'm going to demonstrate and we're going to see how uh, you could use Photoshop to get that classic Chrome look onto other files, but also you don't have to use the classic Chrome image. You could use a film still. I really like the color grading that was used in the movie The Joker. And this is a still image from the movie The Joker. And I want to see if it could take this kind of color look, color palette, and apply it to other images as well. So we're going to check into that as well. Let's start out with the Fujifilm image. Um, this again is a JPEG that was exported from Lightroom with just the Adobe Color Profile. And I want to get the classic Chrome look to it. And this is a good comparison because I have the image right here and we could compare them to one another. All right, to get to this new neural filter, you go up to Filter, down to Neural Filters. And I mentioned the name is Color Transfer. Now it is in beta, so um, it probably will get improved down the line and we'll turn it on. Now we're not gonna use a preset. We're gonna go to Custom. Now because I have all the images open up in Photoshop, it's in this dropdown. It's the classic Chrome one right there. You don't need to have your reference image opened up into Photoshop, you could just click this little folder and you can navigate to where it is on your computer and apply it that way. But I'll go to the drop down, I'll go to Classic Chrome. And you'll see at the bottom it's applied it and there it is. Okay, now you do, you could tweak it. I could preserve luminance too. I'll click that. See, that makes a difference. That actually didn't seem to make a difference. Uh, but I could tweak it. There are some sliders here luminance, color strength, saturation, hue, and brightness. I'm going to leave those alone right now. I'm not going to touch those. Just Let's just check it right out of the box. How does it compare to the real classic Chrome image? Well, here's our simulated image, and here's the original classic Chrome. You can see the color is pretty close, almost exact, but the contrast. Uh, the classic Chrome image has a lot more contrast to it. But, I mean, this really does get you in the ballpark, and it is in beta, and it is called color transfer, not really contrast transfer. So, it's transferring the color pretty well, but it really didn't do um, as good a job with the tone. But you could tweak that from here and get it to where you need it, so I think it, it did okay. But how does it do on a non-Fujifilm RAW file? Let's go to this image of New York City taken with the Nikon D850. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. I want to get the classic Chrome look here. So we're going to go up to Filter, Neural Filters. Again, we're going to go to Color Transfer, turn that on. Go to Custom, go to the drop down, go to the classic Chrome look, let it apply. And okay, it gave me the classic Chrome look, but it looks kind of dimmed. Let's see if we preserve luminance, if that helps at all. And that seemed to help quite a bit. Um, I could come in and tweak, but let's go with them. So there is the classic Chrome look. Now, when you apply this neural filter, it gives you an entirely new layer. So you're not um, 
being destructive. You're not uh, affecting the original layer. So there's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. So that, that did a pretty good job. Let's go to this one. Let's just try one more with the classic Chrome look. Then I'll do the Joker image. All right. So we have this. Um, let's go up to Filter, Neural Filters. Again, we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to go to Color Transfer, go to Custom, go to the drop down, go to the classic Chrome look, and let it do its thing. All right. Now let's preserve luminance on this one. Just see if that does anything. Nah. Kind of liked it without the preserved luminance. Maybe I do. I don't know. We'll leave it on, I guess. And we'll click OK. All right. Again, it gives us a new layer. There's the before and there's after. And that's pretty much the classic Chrome look. Those of you that are familiar with this uh, specific Fujifilm film simulation mode, I think will agree. It's pretty close. It probably isn't as contrasty as it should be. So I would probably maybe add a curves adjustment layer, go down here and like add some medium contrast. Something like that I think is more the classic chrome look so i think that works out pretty good all right now let's get rid of these layers and let's get back to where we started let's go back over here and get rid of that layer let's see if we could get this uh here we didn't use that one we'll use this one let's try to copy the color grading from the joker to these other images all right so we'll go back to this image of the policeman in new york city this was in times square and we're going to go up to, again, Filter, Neural Filter. And again, we'll go to Color Transfer. Again, we'll go to the Custom, go to the Dropdown. And this time, we're going to do the Joker. All right. Apply that color palette. And there's that color palette from the Joker, I think. That's pretty good. Let's preserve luminance. And again, you could come in and affect the hue with the sliders here. Um, you know, affect the brightness levels. Get a little brighter something like that so you could come in and do it you know move those sliders you also could change the color space from lab to rgb um, my little bit of experimenting with this um, sometimes that does look a little better one way or the other so you could do that i'll leave it in rgb mode right now just click okay so there is the joker color grading applied to this nikon image we'll do it again here going to get a little monotonous. Uh, but if you're bowing out now, thank you for watching. Oops, I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Go up to, there we go, filter, neural filters, there we go. And we're going to go again to color transfer, custom. We'll go to the Joker, see what this looks like here. And again, it kind of dimmed it quite a bit. So let's just jump right to RGB and see what that looks like. That will brighten it up a bit, I bet. Nope, it didn't. So we'll go back to lab and then click on that preserve luminance. Let's see if that helps. Yeah. So there's that kind of joker look on that one. We'll click OK. And finally, we'll go to the original image I was working on and we'll go up to filter, neural filters. And again, we'll go to color transfer, go to custom and go to custom, the drop down the Joker in there. Let's see, we'll preserve luminance, see if that works off on. I don't know, I like it more contrasty myself, but teach his own. So there I kind of did the co Joker color grading to this image that I took in Toronto with a Fujifilm X-T1. Uh, so that was a few years ago. And there's the Nikon images as well. So that's it, that's the new color transfer neural filter found in the latest version of Photoshop that's Photoshop 2022 version 23. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>